Hello heroes, it's Dr. Zeno with 15 Minute Fuel, where just in 15 minutes a day, will fill your mind, your body, and your future. All right, when we're waiting for people to get on, I'm gonna shut this door. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoyed episode 49 of We Are Heroes. And just to let you guys know, this will be the last week of We Are Heroes. It is the season finale. We'll be coming up uh, Wednesday, fr probably Friday. Wednesday will be the last full show. Friday will be kind of maybe a recap of a couple things. And uh, the way I want you guys to look at it is, you know, this season did exactly what it needed to do. You know, it went from, you know, feeling disengaged, numb, grieving something, grieving my potential. What is it, right? This is everything I've been telling you guys about. Okay, so what is it? Just really asking that why, getting down to the real why, that selfish why, saying, hey, you know, it's not about, it, it's a selfish unselfish, right? So the thing is uh, finding the why for myself, not for other people. And I, I know it's so counterintuitive, but it's like, you know, I realized that Mother Teresa selfishly got something out of what she was doing because we always think that she's the most giving person, but it satisfied something deep inside her. So realizing that, you know what, we were all created to be heroes and that we have to remember it was always there. You know, the, the excitement, all the dreams, the imaginations we had as children. And then we went to, you know, we went to school and teachers and preachers and belief systems. It really suffocated the true hero inside of us. And we, and we had careers and we did what society wanted us to do. And we and had great lives. It's not saying that's anything bad. We did great. We became great at what we did. But there was always that yearning. There was always that something inside of us that was unique, that was different, that was always your true calling right? But uh, it's very easy to hide your true calling when you're doing great and you're making a good living. Everything's going great. And you got the house, you got the, the kids, everything's wonderful, but it's just that deep down regret, that grieving. And so it's like, well, what is it? And it's like, well, I, I think I have the message that everybody desires to be a hero. Everybody does. And it wasn't just for guys. It was for girls. It was women. It was everybody. It was becoming childlike once again, you know, thinking like a kid, becoming imaginative, becoming creative, um, questioning limits, asking why, why, why my son, every, every time I ask him to do something, he asks me why that's a, you know, because he, why he questions limitations, you know, uh, being peaceful in present time consciousness, you know, um, being relentless. Those guys are closers, my kids. Amazing. And we are too. That's all we have. My, my kids are secure because children are secure. They are confident because insecurity, insecurity is basically why it's learned, it's educated. So all these things. So it's like, you feel like you realize you're wearing a secret identity. You're not your true authentic self. So we have to start peeling those layers off. And so we went through the process. What was the process? It's like, what was the message? What is the message for you? Put it out there. Mine was to get the message out that you are the hero to remember. And so then we started building the talk. We started going to the unknowns. We started embracing the unknowns because it was scary. We didn't have the end goal. What was it? How's it going to work out? We don't know. So we hired the team, Battleborn, to document the whole thing so you could see it. So I, I don't have to uh, sit here and tell you the story because sometimes when you hear the stories, there's all the things that it's like, I did this, I did this, and I became successful. You know, you don't see all the unknowns in between. So we have 50 episodes and you see all the unknowns. You see how this happened. I started, I went for the unknown, didn't realize that that door opened and that door opened. And then, you know, basically these last two episodes, what are we doing? We're flying from town to town to town, delivering the hero message. And it really is just the complete circle. Remember I said the reverse bullseye. We completed this, the season one completed that first circle where we went from this, from this dream idea, this purpose to actually something tangible something that is, you know, I'm, that, that is monetizable, something that is now making an impact outside of my field, my lane, where I found my identity. Remember, my identity was just being the doctor, right? So for me to extend my reach, to, for me to impact the world, become a thought leader outside the health and wellness field even, for everybody, and then having to lose that identity and finding my true identity, you know, realizing that, you know, what was I created destined to be? And, and knowing that a chiropractor is just one of the areas of my life. So becoming a hero in all areas, hero as a husband, hero as a dad. So you get to see all that happen. And so, you know, this, this last week really sums up the completion of that. And you saw it happen live. You saw all the things that had to go the way, the ups, the downs, all that. And so that's why the season finale will be this week. And then probably after that, I'll just kind of post reruns as we're going on. When will it come up again? That's the surprise for you. It will, it will before the end of the year, I guarantee it. And it'll be a whole new team. It'll be everything else. So you'll get to see everything that's going on. So 
you'll see me take a break. I'll still be I'll still be doing the lives on Instagram and I'll still be doing the lives on Facebook Live. I'll, I'll post some of the other stuff on social pictures and stuff, but it won't be to the degree and the bigness that we have done. So it all pan out. So hopefully you enjoy it and then you could go catch up and watch the whole journey again, which I'll probably post my favorite episodes over the next couple of weeks and months. All right, so today I want to talk about enjoying the journey, right? So that was the journey. You know, going through the journey in anything, any goal you have, enjoy it. Um, I found out very early on, when I, when I held my trophy of Mr. America, when I hold the trophy of Mr. Universe when I won that, when I, when I hit over 2,000 patient visits a week as a chiropractor, which is a, a Roger Bannister number, it's, a, it's you know, a, never been, you know, one of the five people in history have done it. When I, all the wins that I ever had in my life, what I noticed is the win, when you got the trophy, it felt good for five or six seconds. But what I realized is like I really should enjoy the entire process because the trophy or the win or the goal, when you hit the goal, the goal is just a side effect of all the consistency, the discipline, the, 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 the unknowns that happen along the whole entire process. So what was really important? The goal or the journey and the person you became to achieve the goal. So a lot of times we get so focused on that goal, we don't take a time to look around and actually enjoy the process. So we get so caught up focused on that goal, we miss the mission around us. You know, I, I, you know, I had a, a mentor of mine, you know, he was so focused on his practice, he would go to the, he says, I was at the beach one day and all I was focused on was my practice. And here there's a beautiful water, there's a beach. So along the journey, we tend to forget our surroundings and enjoy it. So you can enjoy it. That's why I want you to guys to see every single day as a win. You woke up early and did your personal stuff, win, right? You, you got your mind right, win. You read that book, win. You did one step closer to your goal today, that's a win. So because winning is, it's a habit. So if winning's a habit, it's not a, a one-act thing. When I won a trophy, that wasn't just one win. That trophy meant that I had a habit of winning. That means I was winning daily. I'm just going to use bodybuilding because it's easy, right? I woke up and did cardio every day. Win, 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 win. I ate right six times a day. Win, 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 win. You know, I didn't cheat on my, I didn't cheat on my food all the time. You know, maybe probably three times the whole diet. Uh, win, win. Bump, bump, bump. Right. So, but the consistency over time of winning, all those wins led up to the side effect of this one thing I had at the end. So, if you could see winning every day, it's very enjoyable because when you feel good, when you win, you like the feeling, right? You love it. You get addicted to it. So, winning is also an addiction. I believe it should be a habit and an addiction. So winning's a, when winning's a habit and an addiction, you get addicted by what? Doing it daily, right? So we wanna make sure that everything in your life, if you're hitting your routine, if you're becoming a better person, if you're having those little wins along the way, I want you to see and be proud of those wins because that gives you momentum for the next day and the next day and the next day versus um, delaying or, or suffering or the old, if you're Catholic, you understand, you know, the, the whole purgatory mode where you're, 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 you're gonna suffer and you're going to martyr yourself until until the goal. I was there. I was there just even um, when I built my practice. You know, I was part of it. You know, I had a I had a mindset that I would delay gratification. There was no fun. There was no vacation. Uh, vacation. There was no uh, almost like if I could make my life more miserable, the better. You ever, you ever know people like that? Like, you know, if I made a greens juice, I wouldn't put an, a half apple in it because I wanted to drink the greens juice that tasted like shit. You know what I mean? It's like, it's like but I, I got so caught up in being so uncomfortable because I thought being uncomfortable and in pain or, 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 or delaying gratification or deflecting thanks and deflecting appreciation, I thought that, that, that it, was, it was just creating more busyness and suffering, and you think the suffering equals results, and that's not the case. You could actually enjoy life as you move along. In fact, if you're enjoying life as you go, winning becomes an addicted habit after that versus you work so hard and then you get, because the thing is, I suck, you, you, you put yourself in suffering mode on purpose, then when you do, if you do achieve that goal, if you make it, you know what? You can't even smile. You take it, you put it aside, and then automatically think, what's next? So I want you guys to enjoy the journey knowing that your end goal, whatever that goal was, to lose 20 pounds, to make a certain amount of money, to land a certain job, to start your own business, all that is is a side effect of you being consistent every day, having little wins along the day, little things, 1% each and every single day, uh, becoming better, developing your skills, having the right mindset, um, uh, protecting your heart, right? getting rid of relationships that shouldn't be in your life, 
attracting new, friending up, heroing up, so to speak, embracing the hero mindset. Uh, that's from maximizing your superpowers, right? So the gifts and the talents and the qualities, you focus on those and you just you just stay in your lane, you develop those, and then find your vehicle of influence. So then what is my vehicle of influence? Is it speaking? Is it writing? Is it radio? Is it TV? Whatever that is, you start moving forward knowing that you don't have to know the end result. A lot of times, we, a lot of people wait till they know the plan, but a lot of times if you wait to know the plan, it allows you to procrastinate. Right, and if you procrastinate, nothing gets done. So I'd rather you move. So as you saw in the We Are Heroes show, we moved, we went forward. We invested money and time and everything in ourselves and we moved forward together. And you know what, as we moved, we course corrected. We ran into the wall, great. Running to the wall for me is a win. You know why? I just found out not to go down that road. Boom, course correct. And we course corrected and we developed it. And then, you know, I had to practice that talk 200 more times and then I got an opportunity to do five minute talk and a three minute talk So all these things that you had to work towards But we were always inspired of what could be and what could happen and what unknown could be created from that And it really looking back now we could connect the dots and it creates the story It's beautiful. It's a genius and it opened up even more opportunities So we could leave a blueprint so you could give yourself permission to say you know what instead of waiting till my tools are sharpened until instead of waiting till things are perfect I'm gonna just go for it anyway. And that's what I'm telling you guys to do. So, but when you do go for it, enjoy the journey. Enjoy everything, enjoy the relationships you're gonna get. I've met, you know, in the four months we've been doing this, I've met some amazing, I met new people, amazing people in my life. You know, cherish those things. You know, my wife and I, we went to a couple amazing places we've never been to. Cherish those things. Our kids got to see different things they haven't been able to do. Great. I worked really hard and I actually tested myself and I proved to myself I could do things in quicker time by stretching myself, right? So, you know, you learn more about yourself. So enjoy that. That's a win. Uh, the journaling, writing things down and just constantly stressing yourself. Now, at the same time, you know, there was, there was down times. There was times when you did get sad. You did get uncertain. But that's all part of the journey. Enjoy it. So the days I was sad and tired... I embraced it and I enjoyed it. You know, the thing is like I'm enjoying, hey, you know, I, I do have feelings. I am a little down today. What's that mean? So who do I need to talk to? You know, what do I, so, because I knew I was growing as a human being. Same with you guys, that you guys have been doing some great things as well. So the journey, I, I, I'm just telling you from past experience, in the 40 years I've been alive, I can tell you when I competed and a lot of things even building my practice, it looks great and successful, but I, I definitely know I could have done it and I could have been a lot happier doing it if I enjoyed more the process and the journey along the way. Still working my butt off, I, I love that. You know, I enjoy the work, but just knowing that taking the time and smiling more and enjoying it more and, and being appreciative that, hey, listen, every little improvement was a win. Every little thing was a win. Every little testimony was a win. Uh, every day that we worked hard was a win. And look at everything as a win. Get addicted to winning. See winning as a habit. So enjoy the journey. That's our lesson for today. That uh, the journey, remember, it's just not the good stuff. Enjoy the whole part of it. You can't just enjoy part of it. If, if I give you a coin, if I give you a silver dollar, you got to take both ends of the coin, right? You can't just accept the good stuff. So know the whole journey you're going through, the good, the bad, the mistakes, all the things you do, it's all part of it and really enjoy it and always look for the best in it because it really is the best for you. So remember, it's how you respond to your circumstances. Well, I hope you enjoyed this 15-minute uh, fuel. Have a great day. Thanks, Instagram. I'm going to hang out with you guys for a little bit, so hold on. Thank you, Facebook. Uh, please comment. Uh, make sure you know what's going on. Check us out on YouTube. And uh, that's where you have all the We Are Heroes episode. And that's Dr. Zaino, D-R-Z-A-I-N-O, Instagram. Check us out there. And Facebook fan page, Dr. Zaino as well. Check that out. Share this. Share or like. And let us know any questions or comments. Direct message me or private message me. Anything you want to talk about, we'll be able to do. So I'm just going to say hello to a couple people here. What's up, Joe Utash? Hey, Ashley Mooney. Hey, Tim. Hey, George. Hey, Kat. Hey, Pete. Hey, Jen. Everybody just hit the like. It is conscious language, conscious thoughts. You bet. Well, God bless Facebook. I'll see you soon. Hang on Instagram. I'm gonna see